Hi, I'm Jenna Hip, Green Celebrity Nail Stylist, and we're going to talk about proper nail polish application and prep to make sure that your manicure lasts its longest and looks its best. For step one, we're going to talk about the cuticles. So we want to take a look around her nail beds and around her cuticles to see if there's any ragged um, edges or any rough spots because we want to make sure that we smooth those out. So we're going to take a cuticle clipper. Now be careful not to cut any live cuticle. We want to just take away any extra piece of skin that you see. So depending on how long or short you would like your nails to be, now would be the time to take in your clippers and to go ahead and clip the nail to the shape that you prefer. But if you do want to take your nail shorter, I suggest using a nail clipper instead of filing. It's a lot quicker and it's a lot easier on the nail. So now that the nails are prepped and we've clipped away any of the stray cuticles, we're ready to shape. Shape is really important in a manicure. You want to make sure that all your nails are the same length and that they're all shaped the same way. So of course I like to use the file in one direction. I really love to round out the edges. This is the time that most people would probably soak their nails for about five or ten minutes or so, but I like to skip that step because I want the nail not to absorb all of that water. So what I'm going to do is just some warm, sudsy, soapy water onto her nails and cuticle, and this is what we're going to use to clean the nail free of any dust from filing. But this is a very important step before painting your nails because this is going to remove any extra oils, any extra nail dust, or anything that's in the way of a perfect polish application. So for this next step, what we're going to do, since the cuticles are nice and soft, we're going to be able to push them back a little bit and just to make sure that we remove any extra excess skin that's unnecessary and push back the cuticle just very, very gently and slightly so that the nail bed is as long as it possibly can be for a beautiful manicure. So the next step, we're going to sanitize the nail and remove any oils off of the nail by using our spray bottle of rubbing alcohol. So just a quick spray with rubbing alcohol. I'm going to dab that off and then we're going to paint the base coat. But again, this is the most important step in a polish preparation because you want to remove all oils. So whether you're going to be painting your nails a color or not, I always like to apply a base coat on the nails just to make them look a little extra shiny and give them a little extra protection. When painting a base coat, you don't need to apply it super thick. Just a really thin, just at the tip and seal in that edge. So what would a beautiful manicure be without beautiful skin? So we want to make sure that we fully moisturize her skin by applying some moisturizer and I like to use a foundation brush to blend in the moisturizer on the skin and this will just keep product right where you want it, especially now that you've just painted the base coat. The foundation brush gives you complete control as to where the product goes. So there you have it. All the steps that you need to create your perfect manicure. One that's going to last you up to two weeks. And if you like a natural look, this is the perfect way to go as well.